The course that we're doing with Canfor is the first time that we've actually had industry people coming in and teaching the entire class. Uh, we have a UMBC coordinator and that's me involved and the, we have somebody at the Canfor end who's helping to coordinate all the different speakers. But this is the first time that we've had an opportunity to actually have the people who are out in the world practicing forestry in the classroom teaching an entire class, not just coming in for guest lectures. Can you tell us a little bit about what that exactly means, a stud mill? So a stud mill is is a rough, big term, it's really just shorter length. Canfor jumped at the opportunity and we developed a course that would kind of give the students more of an insight operationally what they learned from the classroom and how it's actually practiced out in the field. And we developed a curriculum together that would walk the students through from right from the initial stages of planning cut blocks right through to delivery and sales to a customer. There was some concern that some of the university students might go through four years of education, learn all of the fundamentals of the forestry, but not go out to the bush and actually see the hands-on. The university and Canfor in collaboration together realized as a community employer, we want to actually get good workers working for us working for the industry, so why not let's put some time and effort into it and actually go out and spend some time with these young people and just say, hey, this is how we do forestry. Why not think about a career in it? Why not think about a career with us? UMBC has the really unique advantage of being situated where it is in northern BC and just the access to the industry itself. It took us 25 minutes to drive out to an active mill. Earlier in the course, we actually were able to take a field trip just in the backyard of, of UMBC. Let's just walk down there and towards the stream. What I come out here and I show them is, here's the set of parameters. How do we work within it? And how do we do the best that we can with what we have? How do I lay this block out with not breaking any rules? The general populace of the world wants us to protect the stream, so we have to manage the forest in order to do that. So the students out here basically start thinking about that. It's not just come out here, follow a blueprint, make it, kind of like in a factory, I need to make a widget, this is how I make the widget. Forestry is not that. You have to come out here and actually take in all of the economic benefits and the social benefits and make it all jive together and make it work well. Learning from like, Canfor is great because um, you hear it from the horse's mouth pretty much. You hear it from people who work in it every day. Uh, so the information is current, it's pliable. Today we're at the Heil Pierre uh, Canfor Mill. We're just learning about uh, milling operations and uh, how our job as foresters is going to uh, impact the mill operations and economic viability in the future. We always have wanted input from both industry and government and non-governmental organizations in helping us craft our curriculum. Uh, we need people who are out there employing our students to tell us what it is that they need us to be producing. And, and this uh, partnership with Canfor through this course I think has helped us move another step forward in that direction as well.